So in this video today, we'll be looking at deploying a Business First Container Edition application into AWS ECS along with Fargate. And so Fargate is something that was just announced in reInvent 2017, so a couple days ago. Um, and essentially, it's a way, it's the backend system for your ECS deployments. So if you ever deployed onto ECS before, um, you were using EC2 instances essentially to host your Docker containers that are being managed by ECS. Well, now with Fargate, um, you no longer have to use this EC2 instances to essentially host those containers. Um, that's all managed by Amazon itself, making it a lot easier. And in terms of cost, um, it should be less as well. So let's start by just creating a, a simple Business First Container Edition project. So um, I have my design canvas. I haven't built anything yet. We're just going to build a simple HTTP project that returns some sort of response when we hit um, the specific um, page. So what I just do is I'm just gonna drag and drop HTTP receiver and HTTP send response. And I'm just gonna connect those together, hit save. And so what I need to do is under properties, I need to go under um, where it says HTTP connection, I need to create one. So I just click this little magnifying glass um, and then I, won't, I don't have one created right now. So I just say create shared resource, give it a name, I'll give it the default name, hit finish, hit save. And then under HTTP response, I need to set a reply so I'm going to say reply to the receiver, and I'm going to set some sort of input message. So this is what's going to be shown on my web page once I access the page. So I'm going to say hello, BWC app running on ECS plus Fargate. So I should see that now when I actually um, run the application and when I deploy it onto um, ECS and Fargate. One more thing I have to do, so under the resources with your HTTP connection resource, um, change this to um, some sort of port value that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to use 8080. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new module property so that instead of using localhost as the host name, I'm going to be using um, 0000. So if I click on this little yellow arrow, say new property, I'm just going to say host EW, change this to 0000, save. And then if I go back, to the resource and I just under the drop down select that, um, it'll now use that host. And why do we need to do that? Well, the, um, the way that um, Fargate has networking, it only accepts AWS VPC networking. And so that's different from let's say bridge networking that um, Docker has or maybe host networking. Um, it's a little bit different. So because of that, um, you just have to change this so that it binds to the specific um, IP address that's being used um, on your deployment. So now that we've created that, um, we can just uh, generate the air file. So under package unit overview, you can say export application for deployment, and you'll get a page that pops up. You'll let you uh, choose the location. So I'm just going to choose this default location I've set and use the default name. Hit finish, and this will generate the air file into that folder. So now that that folder is generated, let me go to where my actual folder is. And if you see, um, the air file is here now. And I already created a Docker file for this as well. So if I just open that up, you'll see that I take the base business version container edition image, I add the air file, and then I expose port 8080 because that's, that's what I'm going to want to use. So I'm just going to quit after that. And now I'm going to want to build this. So if I do Docker build, and then I have to specify the file, the Docker file I'm going to use. So it's going to be Docker, and then it's going to be Fargate. And then I'm provided a tag. And because we're going to want to push this up into our ECS repository, we'll want to tag it with our um, repo URL. So if I go to um, Amazon ECS page, go to repositories, I'm going to put it under this BWC Fargate. And um, this is the URL. So I, and I'm actually probably going to have to log in first. So I'm going to go you push commands, and I'm just going to copy this first. Exit that. Log in. I'm going to have to copy the login token. Log in, and you should see a login succeeded. Um, you have to do this, I believe, every 12 hours um, in the token times out. Okay, so now we do a Docker build um, file, and then it was Docker file, and then Fargate, and then uh, T for tag. Um, let's copy the URI. And because of that, copy Fargate, and then we provide it some sort of tag. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna have it a sample HTTP. I'm gonna override this um, sample HTTP app I had before, and just period, and it'll generate the 
image for me. So it's going to take the base image, add the ear, and then expose the port. So for your Docker images, you'll see that that image I generated is here. Um, so now I can do Docker push. Uh, I'm just going to copy this. and provide the tag, sample HTTP. And this will push it up into uh, my repository just because um, the first time you do this, it'll, I mean, it'll take a little longer because you'll have to push up these layers that it already says they exist. Um, but then once you do it the second time, third time, it's just a matter of pushing your application layer, whatever your, your file layer is. So now if I go here and refresh, you'll see that um, this was just pushed right now. So 1201, the old one was on 1130. So now that that's up there, um, I can create a task definition. So what I'm gonna do, are I need to create a task definition. So under task definitions, um, I can create a new one or I can create a revision of an existing one I need. So let's say if you have applications that have been deployed onto ECS, but they use the EC2 backing, um, you, won't be to, you won't be able to deploy those applications into Fargate until you actually make a revision that specifies the certain type of networking. Because in many cases, you're probably using bridge or host networking, unless it's, and like I said earlier, that isn't supported by Fargate at the moment. So I actually have this BWC Fargate task that I um, created earlier. So if I just uh, click on it, notice how it says networking mode, AWS VPC. Um, and then I can select the task size and such. So I'm gonna actually create a new revision of this. And notice if I, um, if I actually select a different type of networking mode, I'll say it's not compatible. So you, you just wanna make sure the AWS VPC. Um, Task memory, so I'm, let me change this to one. Let me uh, go to under this container details. If you notice, you just give it a name, whatever your image is. I'm gonna set this to actually less, so 512. Um, I'm gonna be mapping for 8080. Uh, CPU units gonna say 100 and make it essential. And then it's gonna have logging attached to it. So um, Fargate essentially it takes advantage of the AWS logging out of the box. Um, you can change the group, you can change the region and such if you want to or use uh, third party logging, um, but it's just, this is how it comes out of the box. So hit update. And then if I just hit create, it will create a new task definition for me. So now I should be able to use this to actually um, create a, an actual, um, I guess a project or application on ECS and Fargate. So under clusters, I need to create a new cluster. So now if you want to create a new cluster, you'll see uh, a few options. So before you, you didn't see this before um, because only EC2 um, existed. But now you have the ability to choose between um, networking only or these two Linux, EC2 Windows. So in this case, we'll be using networking only, which is powered by Fargate. Like I said, it does not use any EC2 instances as the backend. It uses Fargate as the backend. So hit next step, and you just give it a name. So I'm going to say BWC Fargate cluster. And what you can do is that you can use a pre-existing VPC if, um, if you want to um, for the networking. So let's say if you have a default VPC, you could use that, or maybe if you have something else, you could use that. Um, or you can create a new one specifically for this. Um, so I'm actually gonna create a new one. It, I mean, it takes a little longer, so you might take, it might take five, 10 minutes to actually create the VPC and all the different types of portions of it, but it's good um, development application um, when you're actually separating all your different types of applications in different VPCs to make sure that they're isolated correctly. So just hit create. And if you'll notice, um, it's going to create these six cluster and create a cloud formation stack. So, um, and it says it may take a few minutes. So, I just uh, we'll come come right back once it's done. Um, just uh, pause the video, and I'll be right back. So now we see that the cloud formation stack has been created. Um, VPC, all the subnets, and Internet Gateway and root table have been generated. So now, if I go view cluster, you'll see that the cluster is available. So. Now we have a few choices that we can do. So we can actually create a service if we want to for our Fargate task, or we can just create the task by itself. Um, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna create the task by itself um, because I don't really care about load balancing or auto scaling or anything like that. But if I had a um, if I had a reason to use that, then you'd wanna use services. So under tasks, I just say run a new task. And if you click Fargate type, notice how for this specific task definition that I have, um, called AWS test, it says it's incompatible. So this was a test definition that I created in previously using EC2 backing. Like I said, if you wanted to use a previous task definition that you created for an EC2 based ECS deployment, then you would have to create a new revision to make sure you use the correct type of networking. So I'm gonna go to BWC Fargate task eight. So that's the one I just created. 
and notice how the error goes away because it is a Fargate compatible um, task um, platform version. So right now, because this was just released a few days ago, there's just 1.0 and latest. Latest is 1.0, but you can change this depending on what you need. Um, use cluster, number of tasks, task group. So I'm just going to call this BWC Fargate um, task or group. How about that? Then the cluster VPC. So this is the VPC that we just created. Um, it'll default to that, but if you need to change it to something else, you can do that as well. So um, I'm just going to keep it as the one we just created. And then the subnets. So I'm going to select, um, I can select one, I can select two. In this case, so let me just actually select um, one. It doesn't matter. Um, it'll create a security group for you and you can edit it. Um, out of the box, it will open up port 80 for you. But if you have an application, so in this case, we're going to be using 8080, you'll have to open up that port in order to access your um, your app. So we'll do that once this is actually created. Well, I'm not going to edit it right now. But um, it's just, just for you to know is that if you build an app that uses something other than port 80, then you'll have to open that up. And then I'm going to enable a uh, public IP because we're going to want to access this on our browser. So hit run task. And we'll do say task successful complete right now. Um, so it's provisioning. Uh, it might take a minute or so for this to actually uh, finish provisioning. But while this is pending, let's look at the ENI. So this is how um, Fargate and this is how ECS um, applications deployed with Fargate communicate to the outside world. It uses an ENI. Um, so a network interface essentially to um, route traffic and to have you talk to be able to talk to the outside world, your application talk to the outside world. So if you look at security groups, this is the same security group name that we saw when we were creating our, um, or when we we're running our task. And if I click on inbound roles, you notice it's just port 80 is open. So what we need to do, let me open up a new link. What we need to do is actually change this security group inbound. We're going to add a custom rule to allow port 8080, and I'm just going to have it um, anywhere. Sure, doesn't matter. Um, so hit save. And so it's, it's going to allow us to actually um, access our application running on port 8080. If you don't change this and then you try to run it, you're going to end up getting it blocked because the security group is what actually manages what, um, what ports are open on this ENI. So I need to refresh this. So it's still pending. Um, also, what you can see is that once um, we start seeing log stream out, you'll be able to see this within the um, cluster, the task view itself. So let's say um, in the past, maybe you attach logging, cloud formation or cloud watch logging um, to any type of application you deployed on ECS, you would have to go into cloud watch and actually look within the logs itself. So here in Farcay, you can actually um, go in and view the logging within the actual um, application. So um, we just wait for this to be success, and then once it is, we'll just take a look at it and test it out. So now we see that the it's not running. The task is running. It should refresh. It's running. If I go into logs now, well, we can actually see that the logs streamed out here. So it says, um, start a BW application. So our application is actually running, and we'll be able to access it um, once we hit that ENI IP. So if we go back, um, right here, not security groups, but under the network interface, um, you'll see the public IP address is right here. Let's copy, paste, and then we'll hit 8080. And we should see a response that says, yeah, what we just wrote. So hello, BWC app running on ECS with Fargate. So we were able to build a business merge container edition app, um, simple HTTP, hello world type of app, and actually deploy that onto ECS using Fargate as the back end. Um, and and it highlights how um, Business Merge Containers has the ability to be deployed on any platform. So it doesn't matter that Fargate was just announced and just released two days ago, three days ago. Um, Business Merge Container Edition allows you to deploy it onto that in any your platform of choice. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, thank you.